Hello, everybody. Welcome into the Patriots Countdown film room. Today, we're going to talk about Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy, probably the biggest riser out of this quarterback class. You hear a lot of positive things about the potential with McCarthy. I don't necessarily see a finished product right now, but in a couple years, you could see that arm talent, the mobility, the physical tools really shine for McCarthy once he puts it all together at the NFL level. So you're going to see him in the pistol here. You're going to get this play action concept. They're trying to hit these two vertical routes on the left-hand side of the screen but out of all the things that I see with McCarthy on film that give me hope that he can be a good NFL quarterback this is probably the thing that's the most intriguing about him is his ability to get outside the pocket and make plays off script so as we roll this you see the pressure comes right here you know from that little pull guard action it doesn't really work they're trying to get these players down the field here maybe he could have thrown this outside route there but doesn't like it and he pulls it down at this point the running backs just releasing into the flat he sees McCarthy break the pocket goes up the field gives him a target and McCarthy makes a play that ability to make a play when everything else is broken down and you're off script is why a lot of people are attracted to JJ McCarthy at this point in time as we roll this next one here a little bit, let's get into some of the things that he does in the pocket. I think you see this in you know, flashes. You just don't see it very consistent is what I would say. So they're going to run these crossing routes over the middle of the field. But what he's really reading here is at the top of the screen with Roman Wilson, who I love, by the way. Uh, you can get here at this top of the screen. He's going to read this outside cornerback's leverage. And Roman Wilson's trying to break out into an outside leverage corner. So that's covered. So as McCarthy sees that at the top of his drop, and we can roll it to that point, you can see Roman Wilson's covered here at the top of the screen. We can't throw that ball. So what does McCarthy do? He gets to the crossing routes. He finds these matchups over the middle of the field, resets under some pressure, and makes that throw to the crossing route, and then he's off to the races. It's nice when you have those guys at Michigan that can do those types of things after the catch. But the main point is, is that he's able to then get to that second read in the progression and make those throws. This is the best throw I saw J.J. McCarthy make all year last year in the national championship game against Washington. So this is an NFL throw. And I'll give him this. He does this a lot in, again, those, these isolated flashes. And this is what everybody's really attracted to. If we can get him to do this consistently, then we have ourselves a franchise quarterback. So what he's going to see is this safety rotation. This rotation is really, again, something that you see a lot in the league. So this safety is going to come down and rotate down. And then they're going to, if we roll it a little bit, they're going to have this play action fake. And they're going to have Roman Wilson run this crossing route into this void of space over here. So all McCarthy is going to see now is that Roman Wilson's got plenty of space here to run into this throw. And this safety right there is going to do what's called a robot technique. He's just going to turn his back to the line of scrimmage, and he's just going to run to that area of the field knowing that crossing route's happening. That's a dime right there, layering that ball right over that safety. Great throw by J.J. McCarthy there. Those are the types of things that you see him do pretty consistently, but maybe not consistently quite enough. So if you look at some of the negative things on McCarthy, I'd say the biggest thing is his lower body mechanics. He puts a lot of emphasis on stepping into throws, and he has a very wide, elongated base. What happens when you do that is you get a lot of throw power, but you also can lose control of the football and lose accuracy. So that's why you see, you saw it maybe at the NFL Combine, him sail a lot of throws over guys' heads because he's putting so much into the ball. And when I see that, one concern I would have as well, along with just having to fix that, is is he generating velocity because he's stepping into those throws? And what happens from those muddy pockets at the next level if he doesn't have that ability to step into it? Is he going to have the same strength on his arm to be able to push the ball into nfl size windows? With that being said, I just showed you three plays. There's definitely hope there for J.J. McCarthy. There's flashes there from J.J. McCarthy. You just need to see it a little bit more consistently. I still think it's going to be enough, though, to get him drafted in the first round. So J.J. McCarthy, probably not my choice at third overall for the Patriots. Maybe it's a little bit too early for him, but I expect him to go somewhere in the first round nonetheless. So that's J.J. McCarthy from Michigan.